Hello, Base World. This time, I wanna introduce Doryu Maji, whom I respect. 33 year old Doryu Maji finally made his big league debut. He never gave up. 33 year old Doryu Maji started his professional career in 2010 after being drafted by the Pittsburgh Pirates. However, it took him 13 years and over 1,000 minor league games before he finally got the chance to play in a big league game in 2023. He was called up by the Pittsburgh Pirates from the AA Altoona Club on April 22, 2023, and made his first appearance in a game on April 26 as a pinch hitter. Despite his long journey to the majors, he was cheered by the crowd and received a standing ovation when he was announced into the game. Congratulations, Maji! Here is his story. He had a successful college career at the Arizona State University where he set the school record for the steals and runs as a freshman. In 2010, during his second year of college, he had an impressive performance in baseball with a batting average of 362, an on-base percentage of 412, and a slugging percentage of 444. He scored 54 runs and successfully stole 36 bases out of 45 attempts in 62 games. He ranked 6 in runs, 4th in hit, and 1st in steals. Among Pac-10 players, he also tied Adalberto Santos for 5th in box and ranked 13th in stolen bases among all NCAA Division I players. He received an all-conference recognition for his shortstop position. During that summer, he played for Team USA's college team and led the team in steals. He was also recognized as the outstanding defensive player in the 2010 World University Championship, where the US team won the silver medal. He signed a contract with the Pittsburgh Pirates in 2010 after being selected in the 15th round of the amateur draft. One round before, Matt Carey, the scout who discovered him, was Larry Broadway. In his first season, he played 18 games and showed off his speed by stealing 5 bases. However, he struggled at the plate, hitting only 165 and making 8 errors. The following year, he played for the West Virginia Power and stole 32 bases, but was caught 18 times. He improved at the plate, hitting 267 in 125 games. He also walked 65 times, which was the fifth highest in the Pirates organization. He tied for six in the South Atlantic League in stolen bases and ranked second in court stealing. He was also second in the Pirates organization in stolen bases. In 2012, he stole 22 bases in 27 tries while playing for two different minor league teams. He batted 241 for the Bradenton team in 54 games and 218 for the Altoona team in 53 games. In 2013, he played as a utility man for Altoona, splitting his time between multiple positions including shortstop, left field, first base and second base. He hit 254 and stole 18 bases in 24 tries. He continued in a utility role for the Altoona Cup in 2014, improving his batting average to 280 and stealing 37 bases in 56 attempts. He played all four infield positions and the corner outfield and was fourth in the Eastern League in steals but first in time scored. 
He also participated in the 2014 Eastern League All-Star Game, playing second base and striking out in his only at bat. Before the 2015 season began, the Pittsburgh Pirates let him go, and he then signed with the Los Angeles Angels. He started playing at the AA level and played so well that he was selected to join the Texas League midseason All Star team. It took a long time for Maji to make it to the major leagues, over 11 years and more than 1,000 minor league games. He finally got his chance when he was added to the Minnesota Twins major league roster in September 2021. Due to injuries to other players, but he didn't actually get to play in any games. Two years later, in April 2023, the Pittsburgh Pirates called him up from their WA team, where he had been playing at the start of the season. After a few games of not playing, he finally made his first appearance as a pitch hitter in the eighth inning of a game. Against the Los Angeles Dodgers on April 26. He received a warm welcome from the crowd, and his manager joked that even his wife had been asking when he was going to put Maji in the game. Congratulations, Maji. So, I'll tell you my opinion from here. Alright. His professional baseball career must have been challenging. He must have endured frustration and humiliation day after day. It must have been difficult for him to see so many younger players make their major league debut before him. You could have run away from such an environment. But he never gave up on his dream. Indeed, he made his dream come true. And he captured the baseball dream. At 33 years old, he may be a veteran player on the baseball field? I don't think so. He has a great life and has walked a steep path for 33 years since birth. He is still young. In terms of his long life, he is still young. He is American. You can have more dream. You can pursue the next dream. So, from now on, I want him to pursue his next goal with pride. What is his next dream? I want him to get his first major league hit. Also, I want him to steal a base. To Maj, who embodies the importance of having a dream and never give up on it. I wanna say thank you. Thank you, Maj. You proved that dreams can come true if you never give up. Thank you, Maj. Congratulations, Maj. Congratulations, his father and mother. Good luck. Thank you for watching. Thank you, baseball. See you next time. It's evident, in your phone 24-7 No reply when I ticked at 10 past 11 And I swear you only tell me what I want to hear The real thoughts buried deep beneath the love and fears I'm in a muddle, lost inside a puzzle here Honestly right now I don't really see